Hello everybody, Sifter again with another modded inscription act one run and today I added a new uh, card mod, custom card mod that is and uh, today I'm gonna be testing the diseased cards of Appella from Appella, I guess from Appella and um, yeah, I mean, let's begin right away. I removed the previous mod we had just so that I point out this mod more. And then tomorrow I will combine them and have both mods be active. And uh, whoever creates a new mod card can also like give it to me. Or uh, if you upload it to the modding um, Discord, then you will. Uh, I will see it. I think I will see it. You can also tag me if you upload a mod or something. Uh, I did a guide on how to get the mods, how to do the mods yesterday. So... Yeah, you can watch how to do that. Either way, let's uh, let's begin right away. I'm starting with four pelts. I still have the drafting mod. Let's see the new cards that we can buy. Would be nice to have an upgraded pelt, but I didn't. Come on, let's see. Let's see. Let's see new cards. Okay, diseased mule, diseased porcupine, rusty trap frog. Okay, we got some really mediocre cards. I mean, Rusty Trump Frog is literally kill everything you want, right? When a card bearing the sigil perishes, the creature opposing to it perishes as well. So, and a, and a pelt gets created in my hand. Oh, that's that's also nice because I get a blocker too. Uh, with a pelt, obviously. Diseased Mule. It's a 1 cost, 0, 3 that tries to block. And also has spikes. I mean, I'm gonna buy the new units, but a 0.5 point... I like this. This is decent. This is decent. Okay, let's go with these four as they are the new cards. And I will also go with a Magpie to maybe carry us uh, later, later with the Sigil. But for now, let's just go on. The Porcupine just needs a flame to become very nice. If I flame it twice, it's a 1 cost 2.5 with spikes. It could be awesome. I think we sacrifice the Magpie, Magpie right away and give it to the deceased Porcupine... I think I, I should definitely sacrifice the magpie by the magpie by the way. Yeah, let's give it to the diseased porcupine. I will give it one or two flames. It's gonna be a one mana two five flyer with spikes or something. I don't care about if it has five life, I don't care if it flies. And right now it doesn't even have damage, so there is no difference in the flight aspect of it. So who cares really? Can I even win right now? I only have one rusty trap frog. Mistakes were made. Uh, I guess I need the flame, so let's go to this elite. Most likely going to be a loss, but uh, maybe I can do it with one leapfrog. With one rusty leapfrog, maybe we could do it. Maybe I should split splash. Split splash, what's coming in? Ah, the flying coyotes. Of course, we're dead. We can't block flyers. I mean, this thing can block flyers, but I can't do enough damage to them in time. And this thing even needs two, so... I mean, let's see what we can do, you know. Let's see what we can actually do. I don't have a deck. Uh, yeah, that thing's not drawing anything. Uh, uh, instant loss? I think I'm gonna hook the this thing. This thing we can block next turn. Yeah, let's try that. It's a bit weird. <laughs> I guess we're not gonna go with a split splash. So I will do a Whirl into a uh, rusty trap frog over here to the left, and uh, I will do a hook on this, and that should already be a win. I will be doing three damage per turn. I could have used this splash splash there. Could I? No, I would be taking one and doing two. Uh, I would be doing one and taking two. Yeah, I would have lost. <laughs> this was so bad. I need a unit right now that actually does something. At least one unit that does something. And then I will burn the... Let's see what we get. Ooh, I can't see the map anymore though. Ah, ringworm in the fire. That would be really good. A ringworm in the fire would be good. I, I'm, I'm trying to think how I can beat the first boss with no damage. I can't beat the first boss with no damage. So the fire will be needed on the spikes. Another magpie? What is this? Diseased ringworm. Well, I like this. This uh, this is what the cockroach should be. This is, by the way, a lot better than the cockroach. I mean, I can't even compare them. Cockroach is a four cost one a sacrifice. This is like it kills also something. This is insane. We just got insane cards, guys. Um, let's go over here and hope. Hope. No, I was about to say let's hope we get damage. We got life. 
That's not good. I mean, this here stays. I guess we continue buffing this thing. A 07 is already overpowered. I just need to give it two damage. Definitely should have gone with the ringworm there and just throw it in the fire. But actually, no, what am I talking about? Now I got the good ringworm. The diseased ringworm. Zero. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take the one and block the two. And although this is going to give damage to the stump. Yeah, that thing's going to give damage to the stump. I guess we're going to take some hits. And then hopefully next turn somehow win. That's going to be the plan. Let's go here. Give me a card. Give me the diseased mule. I can play the Disease Mule next turn. Let the Potupine just exist for a turn. Let's pass. We pass. We take a hit. The Potupine there is not really good for us. But we should be able to control the match now. Let's think about this. If I play the Disease Mule here. It's going to jump over there to the left and try to kill that. Actually block it first. Wait a minute. We're about to take two damage here. Okay, I think I have to place the Disease Mule on the left, block the one hit, we take two. We're at barely alive. Can I do damage somehow? Rusty Trap Frog. Hmm. If I play the Rusty Trap Frog right now here, I think we can turn this around. And we will take one damage from there, this is not gonna do anything to us. We're gonna take two damage pretty much, and the next turn I can make sure that I'm gonna block that over there. So, I don't really need the Disease Porcupine anymore. So let's go here. Let's play the Rusty Trump Frog over here. So once again, I should take one from this and one from this two damage. I should be alive. This thing should attack us and most uh, do just one damage. The next thing we kill this, this does nothing and we can block that with the Mule. Let's hope uh, that Leshy doesn't play anything. He didn't play anything, so now I got control of the match. Wait, why? Why did this already... I guess there is an animation here which is bugged out. <laughs> Uh, it is what it is. And now we play the Disease Mule over here. And now I can also play the Ringworm over here. And now this should be a turnaround. Ah, infinite. Good to know, good to know. So spikes are infinite damage. I did not know that, but now I do. Leshy, is this uh, the surrender coming or... Uh... Aha, now you surrender. Yeah, one, two, one, two. I can't even do more damage. I calculated already that I was not doing more than lethal. So I would not gain any coin out of it. Disease Rattler. 4 damage, 1-3. Instead of 6, I mean 6 bones, 3-1. It's a 4 bones, 1-3. Does this poison the flame? Disease Vulture. 3 blood, 2-2 two, two, flying attack sides. I like this, I like this. You know, normally I would not take this. But we are so such a defensive team. That 3 cost, maybe we will have time to actually somehow magically play a 3 cost unit. I think I should go over here and get good squirrels in the team. Although I'm missing an item, I think those items are enough. And there is a forced item over there, so... Let's maybe get something good. Come on, three blood. Spikes. Um, I can play with spikes. I can play with spikes. Now let's play with spikes. Spikes. It's good, actually, that I got spikes, because I can now just play the squirrels and get kills with them. So that I can control the match even more. Oof, this is not going to be an easy one. Um, now, this thing, we're going to take two in the air, one on the ground, and another one from the boulder. We're taking four damage this very round. Can I somehow... If I play the scroll into the diseased mule, the mule is most likely going to stay here, which is going to do one damage this turn to the alpha. And then, and then what? And then draw a squirrel... Play this squirrel and play the disease vulture and start doing 4 damage per turn on the in the air. And the enemies are going to be doing 1, 2, 3, 4 damage on the ground. And then hope for the best, I guess. And then hope for the best, I guess. Hope nothing appears on the left. I guess that's how we're going to play it. So we go here. We go disease mule. I hope it's not going to randomly jump there and then... I hope it jumps over and then jumps back and doesn't jump there and stay. If it jumps and stays here, we... I think we lose, right? One, two, three, four. No, actually, we survive with one. And, uh, yeah, we pass. We pass. Yep. Okay, it worked correctly. So we take three. The coyote coming in is going to kill us. That's already... That's really bad, which just happened. Uh, I need this for sure. So, I think I play this squirrel plus this squirrel into the diseased vulture. We play it here, but uh, the alpha is not gonna die if I do that. Yeah, but I will be able to play the diseased ringworm after that, and I can 
Play the disease ring more here. Kill the alpha. We're going to take one, two, three damage while I'm doing four in the air. So over time, we are going to win. So yeah, we go for this. We go for the plan. Go one, two, three. This is a flyer, so it will always be flyer against flyer. And then the ringworm over here will uh, kill the alpha and uh, make sure that we're not losing. We do four. Now the enemy is doing maximum three. Another sparrow coming in. That means that he's going to do maximum another one damage while I'm doing five right now. Uh, we pass. Dit, 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 dit. Now he's coming in for the, with the four damage. Dit, 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 dit. Okay, now is a good chance to do the squirrel into the porcupine. Draw this. We pass. Now this thing is my... This should not be flying, by the way. It should be fly blocker. But uh, at some point, I will be able to flame it up a bit. And when I flame it up a bit, it will start doing damage in the air. Flying units that have a million life are definitely better than anything. Oh, diseased wolf. Three bones, three one. That also tries to sacrifice itself. I prefer the three thing we already have. Diseased wolf cub. One bone attacks and then dies. I mean, it, it dies when I press the ding, it attacks, and then when the turn is over, it dies. But it's a one bone, one one, which will pretty much give us another bone back. So this is early aggression. But do I need early aggression? If anything, I might need the cat, to be honest. Slap the cat onto the... Onto what? I could, you know what I could actually do? I could transfer these sigils, immortality and whatever is opposite to it dies, to the diseased wolf cub, and then it's gonna be one bone attacks, kills whatever opposite to it, always. Sometimes it does damage too. Ah, doesn't like that awesome. <laughs> doesn't uh, feel like that awesome. But the cat, the cat I feel is a good choice, especially with this thing. Mortality and this thing plus the sigil. I do have so many sacrifices. I just need some damage. Maybe the cat with these sigils. Actually, maybe transfer the cat sigil to this. And then this thing at least tries to somehow die, you know? Because normally the problem with the cat is that you cannot get rid of it on board, while this thing will actually get rid of it. Uh, I definitely don't like the disease wolf. I'm trying to somehow make it so that I can play the disease vulture because that's my main problem. Right now, I think I can, if I had the cat, I could play cat into disease porcupine for free. Then that's going to draw the vulture and then maybe next turn I can play the vulture or something. So I think cat is to be taken here. The, these things I know unique, etc. But um, I would pick them up if they came earlier. Right now, I tried to fix my whole run because right now it's going downhill really fast and we're up to our first boss, which I won't even be able to use the vulture on. With a black goat here, maybe get the vulture turn one. And uh, here I would say I could skip phase two with the pliers. You know, I can I can definitely control phase one. I think I can control phase one. If I control phase one, we should be able to win. Let's see. Oh, I also have the smokes. The smokes are gonna carry me. That's how we're gonna play this. Smokes carry me. Whoop. Black is like always the same thing. Man, the, the cards being different is enough to make this game completely unique and different right now. Even if I pick up cards that are from the old game, I think they are a bit understated, or at least that's what it feels like, other than this thing. Maybe, maybe the, you know what? Maybe diseased is a tag. I'm not sure about this. Maybe when you give disease to the, what are they called? The flame guys, you always make them sick. So maybe that's the play. A lot of these cards, uh, you can flame them without a high risk of losing the game. By the way, let's see what I'm gonna do. I think I'm gonna do Greater Smoke here into Greater Smoke here. To be honest, I can just throw a Squirrel onto the Coyote. I don't even need to play the Greater Smoke there. I think that's the safest play. Yeah, just delay as much as possible. I think that's what I should do. I should delay this as much as humanly possible and then on turn two, just play the Disease Vulture and end this. So yeah, we play the Greater Smoke here. We play the Squirrel here and we pass. We pass. Arrow's coming in. We don't care. We draw this and we pass. Now this should be a wolf cub. A mole. I remember a mole coming along. Either way, we continue with the squirrels. We use them as fodder to sacrifice. That's why I went with the spikes, by the way. Here we draw another squirrel. Now, the enemy is at two damage before death. So theoretically speaking, I could play the greater smoke. Let it get dinked, both of them. Then I play again, draw three cards. I won't have room. Actually, no, I play the black goat. 
play the disease vulture right away. Hope that the enemy doesn't have a dog exactly on this spot. Because these two... Sp you know what? I'm gonna just play the... No, I can't. Yeah, we hope that uh, he's not gonna play dog on this exact spot. And if he doesn't, we should be winning right away, right? Yeah, I think... I think it's a good idea to play the greater... The great smoke here. I'm making sure that the enemy is not gonna be able to... Uh, pretty much do anything. I could do the trap frog though with these two. Nah. Let's go with greater smoke here. We pass. This should be a uh, instant win. Thank you. Next one. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm pretty much 100% guaranteed to win here because even if the dog comes to a bad spot, okay, we won. That was it. We won. We won. It's over. We go here. We go black goat. We go uh, deceased vulture. And uh, just in case, we also play the diseased ring. And actually, no, we're gonna use the diseased ring room as a assassin, as a unit that can get rid of whatever's dangerous. Get him, get him gold, get him, and we pass and we win. Diseased vulture carrying us once again. That's why three blood is not so hard to play. Everybody's like three blood, Muh, grizzlies are bad. No, 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 three blood is not really that bad. Four blood, maybe three blood is easy enough. Let's see, are there rare cards in this mod? That's the most exciting part always. Hunter's God, easy pick. Oh, that's new. Such a shame. What happened to this creature? Diseased Hydra Dragon. Three cost. Wait, what? Three cost, attacks everything, and then dies. Okay, so this is like a literally worse version than Mantis God. As you can play Mantis God level turn one and it doesn't die. This thing, you cannot play turn one. I mean, if you're a bone deck, maybe. But you cannot play turn one and it, it dies. Diseased Smoke. Two bones. Ooh, that thing scares me. And this is the thing I like. This is a thing I like. This is definitely a thing I like. I was about to say that I'm not gonna pick the diseased Hydra when it's literally worse than the thing next to it. If this thing was something else like Urayuli or um, Gek or whatever that I have actually gotten, I would go for the Hydra. But if it's like the exact same card, but this is worse, I would not go for it. Okay, I'm sorry. But now this appeared, that which I like. Two bones and it's a 1-3 which is decent statted. It has the ability that gives four bones when it dies, and it also has the ability to boulder in a bottle. Now, this ability is that at the end of each turn, it gives us a bone. So this is... I just realized something. This is the bone. Seems like this is a bone-heavy... A bone-heavy mod. Most of the cards are bone-related right now. I mean, not all of them, but some of them, definitely. The diseased cards. I mean, this is diseased... Ah, it's mix and match. It's mix and match. Mix and match. Let's see what we get. Now we can become a boon deck. Rusty Trap Frog. I had this. The Trapper is going to be upset. Yeah, I had this because it wasn't my... Um, yeah, I got an explanation because it wasn't the shop. Let's reroll here. Maybe we find something more awesome. No! It's been so long. <laughs> um, I don't like any of these. I would prefer another Trap Frog. Although two cost is really bad, but those sigils are insane. I mean, definitely better than this sigil. Uh, I guess a cockroach because we were bone heavy. I guess a cockroach. Although there is a very high chance I'm going to throw it in the bin. Let's uh, let's go for a flame on the porcupine. I still want that flame on the porcupine. Yeah, and then I can also get a card and also a carver. Come on. Damage flame. Okay, I'm going to flame the porcupine twice. If it dies, it dies, you know. If it's going to... If if we're losing this because we're unlucky, then, then so be it. I'm yoloing it. Got it. That's enough. That's enough. It's a 1 cost 2, 7. It should not die. And whatever attacks, it should also die easily on its own. That, the downside with the uh, flyers is that the enemy attacks you for free while you just do damage to him. Uh, while if, if the enemies actually don't attack you for free and get hit, well, then it's another story. Uh, by the way, we got toasted here. Yeah, we got really toasted. I will play this over to the left. And I'm gonna... We pass. It's gonna block here. A bee is coming in. I can't really block a bee. I definitely need sacrifice units. A flyer and another flyer. And behind this workaround is another workaround. That was really unlucky that the enemies got flyers in. I need to block here. And uh, we pass. We're about to take 3 damage. And then... Uh, yeah, actually we're about to take 3 damage. That's it pretty much. But next turn... Next turn we're in danger. Okay, now I have enough bones to play the diseased smoke, which is a one damage unit that uh, can kill a two flyer bat, which is the right choice. Kill this bat and block this lane. That's what I should do and take one damage in the air. 
The one damage in the air is uh, really nothing. Can I see my life, please? I have one. By the way, you press A to look at your life. So right now, I'm, I'm able to take one damage, which is going to be the B. I'm gonna block this. Disease smoke on the right. What you, um, yeah, we got this, we got this. There is, uh, there is really no calculation uh, that I need to do here. This is a very simple math. Let's pass. We get a bone out of this every turn, so we will slowly try and get the hang of this. We get control of the match again. This comes here, and uh, yeah, we got the match in lockdown. Yep, I locked the match down, so now I can do whatever I want. Um, I mean, let's start with the diseased ringworm, I would say. Wait a minute. Can I play diseased ringworm? I had an idea. I wanted to play diseased ringworm and to sacrifice it on the cat and then play it again, but it's not possible to happen right now. So theoretically, I could do this. And if this happens, the bee is instantly gonna die. So that's like an assassination move. But uh, I don't want to do it because uh, the um, the work runs coming in. So I'm gonna pass. This is dead. And now the work runs can gonna come in. Whoop! Mistakes were made. And you're toast. And I got a wolf pelt out of that, which uh, is pretty much a blocker if you think about it. And um, yeah, actually, let me showcase what that looks like. What I was just saying. I want to test it. You know why not test here? I kill it on my own. It doesn't get the kill. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Good good thing we tested it first and uh, not just YOLO'd. And um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. So let's go one, two, three. And let's play this one too. And we pass. Play this one too, whatever it is. The flying porcupine. Yeah, draw the cockroach. Got a bunch of units don't die. This deck, uh, this, uh, I like it, I like it right now. It's not really powerful. We got this. Here we roll here for sure. Okay, we only got trash. And uh, I think I'm gonna go with the Mantis. So this symbol is really good. I mean, I know we're a bone deck, but I don't think we're uh, fast enough. And this, this, this is good. Mantis is good. What are we even talking about here? Let's continue. Come on. I like what I have, but I mean... <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Okay, I'm gonna pick this up. But, but, I'm not gonna use it. Okay. I think that's fair. Uh, I'm gonna use it if I see that it's going sideways and I start losing lives. I'm gonna try to chase down one of those, uh, what he's called, the trapper, whatever he is. And I'm gonna try to use that. But otherwise, I have three lives. I mean, I don't think I will lose on bosses. The bosses are overall really easy in this game. And, um, yeah, let's continue. So, I can't really play anything. I mean, I can play the Mantis. Yeah, I can play the Mantis. So, we go here. We play the Mantis on the right, obviously, because a flyer's coming in. That's why I don't like flyers. That's why I don't like flyers. That's why I think flyers are bad. This thing is going to attack us for one each turn. And it's just going to exist there. It's not going to do anything, really. It's just going to exist and do one damage per turn. While I, on the same time, kill his allies and do two damage per turn. Oh, Amantis is coming in. Well, we got countered. But there is a chance. There is a chance. I didn't draw the chance. Forget it. There is no chance. <laughs> I was hoping I drew the, um, the porcupine and place it here. And then that Mantis would attack the porcupine and die. Uh, I'm stupid sometimes because I can actually do that. <laughs> I don't know why I wasn't thinking about it. Look at this. Oop, oop, it's dead. And my Mantis survives. Can I draw something good? Diseased Newell. I seem like I can't. And I don't have enough bones to play anything. Pass. A beehive's coming in. Insane. The beehive is actually helping us, by the way. In case you don't know how a beehive works. Well, uh, I, I didn't draw... A, by the way, I didn't draw a squirrel because... <laughs> what would I play these two? I'm laughing. Maybe I should have played the squirrel for the disease ringworm. Doesn't matter. Right now, we're still winning. And uh, three damage is coming in. This thing is gonna give a bee to us. So, that is really good for us. We take three. Pop, pop, pop. Okay, now we'll go with maybe the disease vulture has arrived. So, I would say we go with a bee into a cat. Into a ringworm. I did not need to play the cat there. Yeah, I think a ringworm is a good choice. And we go one, two, three. 
that ringworm does not kill whatever's opposite to it. We go here. That's two, four damage in the air, while the enemy is doing three damage in the air. And uh, now I can also play this here. And I can also play this here. And pass. A pass. Enemy takes four. And we also remove one of his damage. And at this point, we have one. I'm expecting Leshy to... What happens if I do this? Can I do this a lot of times? That's a good question. Imagine if I found something like that. Come on, come on, give me, give it to me. Give me the cat. I don't get the cat. Yeah, I think I did it nine times. Okay, experimenting is over. So you cannot actually fake sacrifice the cat so that you... Uh, yeah, let's go on. You can't fake sacrifice the cat to make it do damage for you. Uh, become a attack cat. In case you don't know, uh, normally you can actually sacrifice this cat... To, uh, if you sacrifice this cat nine times, it, be it evolves into an aggressive cat, which is like a three damage, six life unit. Oh, this is a trapper. He gives me a trash thing on the house. Ah, very nice. Let's go with a wolf pelt and a golden pelt. And uh, another wolf pelt because they're broken, and I think that's enough. I always take four of these. Let's go on. Okay, here we go. There is a, a connect. Let's see, can I get three blood sacrifice flying? <laughs> I'm laughing. Everything's trash. Let's get the flying out of the pool. I'm still gonna stick to the spikes just because I want to be quote unquote fair because this thing is a free win, by the way. Let's continue. I think I'm gonna go for the sacrifice if possible. It would be nice if I could get a, a black goat on the next run around. So we're about to take four damage. I can block the coyote though. So we're gonna block the coyote. I'll go here. And here. Shit. I made a mistake. Uh, well, I'm gonna just play the wolf pelts here and uh, hope for the best. Because the coyote would actually... The, the mule would try to go over there. Otherwise... I think we're losing, by the way. Ooh, I draw the porcupine. Man, my luck is insane. So this is gonna buy me enough time to actually maybe win. Okay, I need something that has room to play here. Because these things will stay here forever and I can't get rid of them. So, I need something that does damage in a line, and I can actually play. I can play the Ringworm. I can play the Disease Smoke, though. I guess Disease Smoke it is. For now, I need to get some time. This, this Pelt play was completely stupid. And Otter's coming in, which is not really gonna do anything to us. Uh, I can't really draw anything that's useful. Yeah, these wolf pelts are a menace now. I think we... I think... So the way I'm seeing it, the, the what is most likely gonna happen is I'm gonna lose the disease smoke. Play something there. I'm doing three per turn. Enemy's doing three per turn. Another otter's coming in. Well, that otter's never gonna come in. Disease ringworm is here, which is pretty much very nice. Can I somehow do more damage? I think I just need bones. Oh, this is, this is gonna die. Yep. Okay, now I can play this. Just to get rid of uh, that thing. I'm gonna take three while I'm doing two, I know. I'm gonna get rid of this. Give me a second. I should have played the ringworm. I should have played the ringworm. Either way, we play the ringworm. Now we do three while we take three. Yep. Now this thing is gonna go and die. Very nice. Okay. Still alive, still alive. I got this, by the way. Don't be afraid. There is a plan. This does one damage per turn, which uh, I will need. I need three damage per turn right now. These pelts, man, not being sacrificable is stupid. There are some things in this game. I mean, it's obviously my mistake. But right now, this will take a, a, a while. Uh, first of all, there is a chance that Leshy just surrenders. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's go on with our lives. Flyers, man, I'm telling you. Stupid thing. Okay, we're gonna reroll this. I mean, Casey's decent, but... Actually, Casey is very good. It's like a, a lot stronger. Let's reroll. Diseased Elk. 
Five bones, immortal. Oh, imm lit almost literally immortal. I think I like this. Because five bones and it gives you four when it dies and it also is immortal. These sigils, man. These sigils. Wait a minute. Isn't there a flame coming up? Let's go with the disease elk. Oh no, remove from the deck is coming up. And also combine. I don't think I have combine. I mean, I could combine the wolf pelts for an insane card in the shop. Should I remove the... Should I combine the wolf pelts or should I just simply um, remove... I guess at this point the cockroach from the deck. I mean, the diseased ringworm is a literally a stronger cockroach. And uh, if I want the mortality sigil, I have it on so many units, I don't really need it. The cat is needed for the diseased vulture. Is the cat even needed in this deck? I'm not sure if I need the cat. I mean, I can put a bunch of units out in one turn if I have the cat. I'm gonna keep the cat. I think I want to remove the cockroach from the deck and get two good units instead of one insane. Because if I combine these two, I will get one insane unit. I prefer to get two good units. That's why I also bought two of them. Let's remove the cockroach from the deck. Also, removing a card from the deck is going to give me one bone at the start of the run. So, uh, this is definitely useful in this particular one. <laughs> now, once again, people... Oh, the cockroach is insane. The cat is useless. Uh, I disagree. I will transfer the cat sigil onto something. While the cockroach sigil, I could if I want the cockroach sigil, I have so many good cards that have it. In addition to something else. First time I'm feeling like I'm not overpowered. By the way, I mean I I skipped the I, sk I skipped the awesome thing on purpose though. But my scrolls are gonna have spikes. His scrolls are gonna have spikes. I'm gonna give him pelts. I'm not gonna give him squirrels. Um, let's think about this. So the only thing I need to win is the 1-1, one, one, the 3-3 three, three flyer. Right? That's it pretty much. 3-3 three, three flyer, boom, boom. Things come in, boom, 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 boom. Yeah, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do this. Slow and steady. Slow and steady is going to be the plan. The flyer is gonna need three sacrifices. So the first thing we're gonna do is play a smoke um, opposite to Kingfisher. Just have a permanent, permanent damage source. You know, yeah, let's do this. And another, another Kingfisher comes in. He baits that he's gonna take my Kingfisher. I'm gonna give him a good old golden pelt. But, yep, that thing's coming in. Boop. And nothing has happened. Very nice. Go real card. I got the disease vulture. So now I go greater smoke on the left to also have control over there. He's about to hook. Nice. I'm gonna give him a good old squirrel that uh, does almost nothing. Blocking that lane too. We pass. You can take the squirrel away. Oh no, it has spikes now. Oh no. Uh, now I think I will need to get the sacrifices going. So I would say we go with a squirrel. Onto the disease butcher. And uh, we pass. Now we do 4 damage per turn while he only does 2. I'm telling you, the bosses in this game are a joke. Now he's gonna try to hook. I'm gonna go like, oh no, my squirrel. Squirrel, off you go. Well, he takes back the hook and now he isn't hooking anymore. Now you would think that the squirrel is a danger there because it created a. Um, what's it called? A bait bucket? I don't think it really matters, as, um, you know, I have a flyer. And we won. Now everybody's gonna be like, Sift, flyers are overpowered, you have no idea. Um, you know what I wanna do? I wanna get a screenshot in here. So, let's get a screenshot. Why not? So, we go here. We're not gonna lose in any shape, way, way shape, or form. We go... I should not have played the Mantis. No! Well, it doesn't matter. We go here. And uh, I would say, let's go with the Diseased Ringworm. It's, uh, it looks more awesome in my eyes. Yeah, that's pretty much the screenshot. And uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I got the crew in. Go fish. He's already dead. Go fish. <laughs> I should not have played the last uh, squirrel. That was the mistake there. I could have played the Diseased Elk too. Uroboros. Whoop. 
Water Dragon. Such an amazing creature. Two cost five one under. Oh, this okay. This I like. I like. I like. I agree. I agree. Let's go with the Water Dragon. It's a five one. That is an insane card, by the way. Two cost five damage. This is almost an insta win most of the times. Okay, I'm still missing an item. Uh, I want to go to the shop though, and this is also good. So we go to the shop. Yeah, this is really good. This is really good. Let's go shop, and maybe we find a black goat. If we find the black goat, all our problems are fixed. Can I get the black goat here? No. I got another diseased ringworm, which is really strong, and I got another diseased vulture, which is really strong. Diseased wolf. No, I I saw that. This is also not good. I like both of these. I mean, this is my super carry, obviously. This is, uh, this is really nice. I like this unit as a card. It's one cost less. You see, this is like a super cockroach. It's one cost less than a cockroach, and it has, it kills whatever is opposite to it. And when it gets a kill, it gives you a blogger too, with this ability when it gets a kill. Uh, Diseased Vulture, on the other hand. Um, see my deck again. I like the Diseased Vulture, man. But the thing is, if the enemies have flyers, we're gonna get toasted. Uh, let's go with the Diseased Ringworm regardless. Let's see what I get. Still no Black Goat. The most stupid thing I've seen. Uh, what is this? Diseased Weasel. 4 cost, 2, 1 with this thing and Flyer. Raven that searches. Immortal Diseased Vulture. I like this more. Oh, 2 cost gives you 3 sacrifices though. 2 cost. What is this? Diseased Coyote. It's a 1-2, two, 2 cost, 1-2, attack sideways, and it's free to play. Okay, we take this. No questions asked, it's free to play. And uh, now we're between those two. I think I think I want the Vulture. Mm, to be honest, this is a 2-mana 4-3. I like this. It's a 2-mana 4-3, which can give me a Vulture. And I have two, right? No, I picked the, the other thing. Well, if I only have one Vulture, I have the Water Dragon, though. Yeah, but if I'm gonna play this, I'm not gonna play the Water Dragon the same round. I guess we go with Immortal Vulture. I guess we go with Immortal Vulture. I guess. I don't know, I, I don't like it. So it's the same card, but different. Insane, I understand. Hydro Dragon, 1-4. 2 cost, 1-4, attacks everything. 3 bones, 1-1, one, one, attacks 3 lanes. I think I'm gonna go with the 2 cost, 1-4, attacks everything. Looks better to me. Should have maybe gone for the triple sacrifice thing, but it costed two. Let's go over here. Uh, now I'm thinking about removing the simple disease vulture. Maybe I should just remove the disease mule. You know what is this? I mean, yeah, what's the disease mule? Are we are we are we kidding? Yeah, disease mule, you're out. Okay, bones. Let's continue. Okay, let's see what we get. Maybe this is my first loss, you know. I I, I don't feel super powerful like I always... I, I don't feel like I have an, the perfect control of the match. 3-3 three, three is coming in. Uh, at least I can do 2 per turn to buy a bunch of time on my team. The Water Dragon is here too after that. Yeah, we're going for uh, this. Into this. Which I should play here. I mean, I know it's a blocker, but it's also flyer, so... Oh, no, I can play the vulture here. No, we play this here. Because this is the other one is a flyer. Now, I would say... Hydro Dragon? <laughs> I would say... Free Coyote? <laughs> there are so many good choices here. Disease Smoke, start building up some bones. Is there a reason why I should start building up bones? I guess this is a good idea because I can play it. Just realized something. We won. Water Dragon. Ice damage attack. Cling <laughs> zero. <laughs> Let's continue. We got a flame there. Whoop. Let's see. Okay, first of all, I'm just gonna take this and be gone. Wait a minute. Is there not a full shop at the end of each chapter always, no matter what you do? I think there is a full shop next. So I will take one overpowered, one golden, and uh, another overpowered. We're gonna go with the classics. I'm always getting my classics up and running. 
Flame versus items. And then there's sacrifice coming up versus items. So it's pretty much flame versus sacrifice because I definitely want to go for items. Items is always important. Do I want the flame or do I want to transfer sigil? Hydro dragon. Transfer the hydro dragon sigil onto the... Where is it? Where is the super... Onto the water dragon. Transfer the hydra dragon onto the water dragon. It's going to be the mega hydra. The hydra... The Hydra Water... Hydra Water Cannon. Dragon. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I think that's a good idea. Or, 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 wait, 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 wait. Or, or, transfer... No, I can't transfer the Coyote. I would like to transfer this thing <laughs> over to maybe the Hydra Dragon or something. Maybe the, the Water Dragon, actually. Mm, I could transfer this. Infinite Lives and, infi and Bone Gain onto the Mantis... On to anything that's really cheap and easy to play. And then go for a flame. Yeah, so I can go both of these. Flame the Mantis and give it this thing. Or um, I could also give it the, to the Hydro Dragon. No, they, they, these things are good on units that have one uh, life. Wait a minute. Three bones. I could transfer the Hydro Dragon to this. Dizzy Ringworm. I think I want to transfer the diseased elk onto the mantis, to be honest. Mantis can die easily, give you free bones, then you play it again, and then you have the bone factory there on the mantis, and it will also come back again and again, and the bone factory is always a good choice. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do with. So, we go for flame to power up the mantis at least once. Okay, now it's going to be a 2-1. Where's the mantis? Should I give it to the mantis? I'm thinking about giving it to the hydra god. Hydra dragon. Just for the funsies, you know? Just for the funsies. Let's give it to the Hydro Dragon for the funsies. No, a 2-4 is enough. <laughs> this is like instantly winning. If I draw it and play it right away. Oh, I forgot that there's another fight after this. I even forgot that this there was a fight here. Can I get the dragon? Ooh, I got the Water Dragon. I didn't get the Hydro Dragon. Boo. A Moose Box coming in, though. Okay, that's new. I mean, I can send the diseased ringworm onto the bin against the moose box, so... I guess we play the squirrel over here. I guess. This is gonna block itself. Um, I would say we'll continue drawing so that I can play something. Now here I will say we play the diseased ringworm. Uh, let, let's not forget that I cannot play the water dragon right now as there is a mole man on the field. So we're gonna pass here, the enemy's gonna kill my ringworm, and it's gonna die. Circlock. Diseased ringworm. And I got the wolf pill out of it. And now I'm setting up for the next turn. The next turn is going to be a squirrel. Onto a squirrel. Onto the water dragon, I think, is the play. Over here to block in the elk. And then we play a wolf pelt in front of the elk fawn. Just because. Do I want to block my own lane? I can play the diseased ringworm. Uh, that might have been a mistake. Am I about to take three? This is gonna flip. That's not a mistake. This is gonna die for free. Yeah, the only misplay was that those two were not enough in different lanes. Uh, it should be the other way around, but uh, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, are you kidding? We are overpowered here. Uh, I'm gonna do five while he does two. Oh no, another elk for two damage is coming in. Can't deal with the water dragon. And uh, I think we pass. We pass and we win. Now that the dragon starts coming in, oh, now, we're, now we're powerful. Okay, there is more to this. Let's see what we can get. Skunk! Is this the first time I'm ever reading about the skunk? Seems so. Oh, everything's trash. Kaminsky is here, man. Let's go, Kaminsky. I mean, Kaminsky is a one-cost sacrifice outlet, but is it good? I don't think so. I guess we pick Kaminsky. Do I have a double in my deck? I have to do disease vulture. It's going to be a four. I think I want to go here into the flame then. Yeah, here into flame. So let's stick to the plan. We send this off onto 
something. Wait a minute. <laughs> I could give it to the disease ringworm. Um, onto the mantis, I think, is the play. Yeah, I mean, why would I give it to the disease ringworm when I can just do it on the mantis? And if something needs to get sacrificed, I mean, I sacrifice the mantis, I get it back in hand, I get four, five bones. I play another unit that costs bones, maybe, play the mantis again. I think that's the play. Might be wrong about this, but uh, it's my it's my my opinion. That's what I do. Here is the super mantis. It has arrived right away. Uh, and I also have the disease smoke. <laughs> so we are already overpowered. And also the disease vulture is here too. Can I play them all right now? Mm, not really. Let's go here. And let's go into a place where it doesn't die. Let's go with the disease smoke somewhere where it, where it will actually block. And also kill the next turn. And we pass. I wanted to have the mantis uh, to give the mantis some damage, but... Wait, did I give... Why did I not give the Mantis damage? I guess because I wanted to do the stupid thing and uh, power up the Hydra thing. It is what it is. Sift plants. Uh, we're gonna end this fight right now. I don't really want to just take my time here. There is no reason to. And we pass. And we win right away. Thank you very much. Everybody's gonna be like, Sift, you see, flying is awesome. Yeah, well, I disagree. Uh, let's go with reroll here. I want new units, new stuff. I'm gonna go with the Turkey Vulture as we are actually bone heavy at this point. We can create, uh, easily create a bunch of bones. And uh, let's go over here. Can I get damage? Of course not. Okay, I would say for life, I would give it to the Diseased Vulture. To be honest. And I think this is already enough. If, if it survives one hit, it will just give me the win next turn either way. So let's continue. Now this is another fight which we should slow play. And uh, this, de <laughs> this deck is actually slow playing easily. I mean, especially if you start with the Greater Smokes. People have told me that uh, Yo Sift remove the Greater Smokes and the three lives and whatever. I mean, on the one hand, yes, it's make it makes the game easier. But on the other hand, uh, first of all, the greater smokes are only on the boss fights, and the boss fights are the easy part of the game, so I'm just expediting the speed at which we actually get through it. Uh, can I play Disease Ringworm right now? No, but I can play on the next turn. This is blocked down. Yeah, I mean, we already got everything that we wanted. So we go here, 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 and uh, we pass. I can play the Disease Vulture right now. Kill those two. No, 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 no. We're gonna slow play this. We're gonna slow play this as possible, as much as possible. Let's go here. This squirrel can go over there. Get a kill. Boop, boop. Nice. Access. We don't really care. Now I can completely slow play this as much as I want because uh, we already won here. Oh no, an enemy is coming in. Oh no, a bullfrog. Oh no, one damage. I laugh every time. Now we'll go with a disease ring room over there. We, we pass. Oh no, Ringworm, no! I laugh. But seems like I'm about to actually buy everything. <laughs> seems like I'm about to buy every single thing from the boss. Diseased Coyote is here. I mean, it's gonna enter the field on its own. Yes. Kills mine. Nice, Coyote comes in. I like how I'm getting wolf spells from it. Let's continue. This is Vulture is here. I will play a Squirrel under the leaping thing so that I get a free pelt. Nice. Now I just need to send something under the bus over there. Rusty Trap Frog. Okay, first of all, I will play the Diseased Ringworm over here. Then I will play the Cat at the spot. Wait, is that a good idea? Play the Cat over here. Is that a good idea? I hate the cat for this, man. I hate the cat for this. Can, do I have side attacks? Yeah, I can kill the cat off with the mantis or something. And, um... I think I want to kill the raven, too. Do they even care about the raven? It's just doing two damage. I mean, who cares, really? Does this not have fly blocker? Oh, it has fly blocker. Okay. Then I can definitely kill the cat off. It's not really that hard. We go with a ringworm here. We go with a squirrel over here. And now we go with... 
disease vulture one two three play it here and now this should kill the cat actually so we we'll pass Saved. why are you killing the cat because i want room nice we won maybe now we can do a group photo with only new units let's see what he brings in actually maybe he also brings in new units let's trade man come on one two three four can i get everything oh he actually does bring in new units Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I want short. No. Uh, I'm guessing the only thing we don't care about would be the Great White. Actually, the Grizzly. Because we can kill the Grizzly. So we just pick up everything other than the Great White. Other than the Grizzly. And let's go. I wanted to pick them all up, but... Alas. Another disease ringworm. Okay, I think now is the chance to actually only play new units here, just for the funsies. So it's gonna be a disease ringworm. And uh, what else should we have in this fight? I guess a rusty trap. You know what? Forget it. We're gonna go with two disease ringworms. What is this even? Look at this. Look at this. This is stupid. <laughs> I like it though. Diseased crew. Let's go. The disease spreads on my enemies. By the way, it's gonna be another one hour long run. <laughs> Damn it! And off to the final boss we go. The bosses are always a joke, man. Always, always, always. Oh! Disease bait! <laughs> free bones! It is actually free bones. Insane. It is actually just free bones. And you can sacrifice it. We're taking this. This is like a gek. And that instead of being a 1-1, one, one, it's a 0-1 that gives you 4 bones. That's how you should think about it. If I, if I, I could flame it once, it would mean that we obviously go over to the shop. I, have, I still have the split splash. Imagine losing at the end. Yeah, it's as if it, as if you uh, didn't flame the it once. What is this? Diseased mole. 0-2. For one bone, 0-2, but creates bones every round. Man, you can really create a bone-heavy deck. If you start with this, if you start with a diseased mole, you can just go full-on bones. Disease elk, five bones, when it dies, gives you bones back. I like this. I like this the most right now. I don't like the diseased mole that much. At least not now. It would be nice for having a run with it. I'm definitely gonna run again with a diseased grizzly. What is this? What is this? We take... The this is a free win. This is a free win? Are you insane? Why did you create this card? You should not have created that card. Diseased magpie. Oh, it loses the draw card? Then it's not a magpie, man. It's like a diseased uh, pigeon or whatever. I disagree with this being a magpie. Magpie. The awesome thing with the magpie, isn't the sigil called like magpie sigil or uh, something? Let's hope I'm not going to skip it randomly. I'm just going to go through. Here it is. Boon of the magpie's eye. You see? It's called magpie's eye, so... Uh, I think I think it's a mistake to not have that sigil on the magpie. In my opinion, whatever you want to do, my dev creator, it's uh, on you. Uh, now for what to draw, though. I think everything's trash. And uh, because everything's trash, I, I guess we go with the diseased magpie. Now, it is... I don't like it, but it it pretty much transforms three of your bones into two sacrifices. Because three bones, become you get a bunny out of it, you can play the bunny, and uh, the bunny, then you can sacrifice the bunny alongside the magpie. What is this? Airborne dragon? Where is the airbornery happening? Two mana, four, two. Bait bucket. Zero, one, three blood. I like this. These, these are you. I don't know why I'm reading them in wrong order. Five, one. Why is this? This, this should be, by the way, a, six, a seven, seven, at least. Make it a seven, seven, breaks when attacks. I like the disease, the Rayuli. I like the bait bucket too. I like those both. Those both. I like both of them. Hmm. What would Sift pick? I guess the disease, the Rayuli. <laughs> uh, look at this. It's sad. Actually, sacrifices maybe are useful. Maybe I like this. Let's go with the disease, the Rayuli. <laughs> I like, I like the rares. Th those were nice rares. I liked it. I mean, Urayuli might need a rework. I, I think it would be more fun if, if, if it still was a 7-7, seven, seven, but it died at the end of the turn. I mean, what's the point of being a 5-1? Because 5 is lethal? Is that the idea? But you're missing the whole Urayuli player by making it a 5-1. Good luck. 
Okay, we have flyers. Uh, yeah, we actually do have flyers. And of course, we... Oh, we got it! We got it! We got it! Maybe first time I got something with flyers. Sacrifice, draw two cards, draw whatever you want. Go draw whatever you can't, always. Always draw whatever you want. Rares, ring. Hmm. 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 I pass. Who would have imagined? Sacrifice, draw two cards, bone lord. Now, you would say bone lord because the heavy is... Uh, the deck is bone heavy. But hear me out. This is overpowered. Overpowered, Bone Lord. Overpowered, Bone Lord. You know what? I'm gonna go with... I picked the Ryuli for a purpose. <laughs> Let's maybe hope the Ryuli is gonna be in my starting hand. One can hope. Come on. Play, are you? Yeah, I'm ready to play. Come on. Give me Ryuli starting hand. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Don't play around. Where are you starting hand? Come on. Whoop. Classic music. I love you, Leshy. Let's go. Yo, Leshy, I, I bought some new cards. <laughs> is it okay, DM? Is it okay if I bring my homebrew? <laughs> Can I play some homebrew? <laughs> He's like, yeah, I don't know. Is it OP? I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. First of all, first... Is this... It looked like as if it had like wind strike or something, wind fury. Uh, I can play the diseased ringworm on the very left, block in the amalgam, and then get the free kill on the mole man. This is also mortal, right? Yeah, these are both mortal. Wait a minute, did I get an infinite? If I had a second unit that is blood cost, immortal, and bones, I could have gotten an infinite here. Actually, if I just had a unit that is one blood and at least uh, this symbol, I could. Uh, if if this, for example, costed one blood, I could sacrifice this for this, this for this, this for this, get infinite bones. But alas, I cannot do that. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna blade the squirrel into the disease ringworm into the mantis. The mantis is gonna make it so that the mole man goes doop doop doop, and then the amalgam is gonna come in. But the amalgam is gonna die. Why? Because I have the disease ringworm. So I think I'm gonna play this. I'm not gonna use my bones up this fast. I don't think there is a reason to it. So we go here. And uh, Disease Ringworm goes here. And guess what? Both of them are immortal, so I don't really care that uh, enemy Lish is gonna ding them. Part of the plan. Whoop. Toast. <laughs> I got a wolf fell out of that. Let's draw what I want. And what I want right now is uh, the Disease Grizzly. I did not know that I had that. I think we go for the win. Let's go for the win. There's no reason to wait. Why would I wait when I can win right now? So now this thing is going to take six and then another six. And this thing is going to die from the first six attack. Whoop, whoop, boom. Mole man, good job, man. Good job. I like how the mole man was like, I'm going to protect you. And because he was there, he killed his own ally. And we're going to get figs in these two spots. Oh, where, where are the figs, my dude? Where are the figs? Diseased Ryuli, I would say, is fun. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I got an idea. I don't have bones. No. Well, I can create bone next round. Boop, boop, boop. And we win. I'm telling you, the bosses are a joke. I didn't even use the, the, the smokes. But people tell me to not have upgraded. But sometimes you use them and you win because of them. I would use items. If I didn't have smokes, I would use items. And if you were in any of my live streams, you would know that the items are more broken than anything. Uh, I want bones, so diseased bait. Here you go. Do I have a sacrifice outlet? Yes. Look at this. Disease bait. I have a plan. I have a plan. Play the disease bait. Play the cat. I don't care about the cat. And play the diseased ringworm. The other ringworm kills the fire. This ringworm kills the moon. Come on, moon attack. Mistakes were made, moon. You should not have attacked. Wait, what? Yep. Exactly as calculated. Guys, the moon fish... Uh, the moon fell on a trap. <laughs> the moon fell on a trap. I can't even play that thing. You know what? Just for the photo shoot, I'm just gonna go with this. Here. Because I still don't know what I'm gonna do for the thumbnail. I'm just gonna, you know, anything, everything. I mean, I hope you guys don't mind that I'm just uh, 
getting a tableau that actually shows the new cards. It's not really adding that much up. It's adding like 20 seconds or something. This was the disease mode, right? Let's make sure I'm going to take that name correctly. Yeah, it's diseased cards. Diseased cards mod from Appella. And uh, if you want to download it, the mod right now is in the showcase channel of the modding Discord server. Which uh, link for the modding Discord server will be in the description. There will be no link for the, the mod itself because, I mean, it's it's not on a site or something. It's in the Discord, so you have to go there. Whoop. And I think tomorrow I will maybe combine them. First disease. <laughs> I mean... If this is not gonna this is not gonna stick maybe disease isn't, isn't even read read like this how is disease written disease yeah i think this is uh, how it's written but uh it doesn't matter because the sticker's not gonna stick maybe i should delete the wall should i delete the wall to get some more action over there welcome I don't know, sometimes I'm thinking about maybe going over here and uh, deleting all these because I can go into the save file and delete them or whatever. So maybe that would be fun, but uh, does it even matter? Does the wall matter? Does all of any of that matter? I don't think it does. But if you do think it was, then maybe comment down below and tell me your opinion on it because this is the end of the video and if you like the video, maybe drop a like. Once again, I have done a guide on how to actually install the mods, so now you can also play with them and uh, you can also create them. At the end of the video where I'm explaining how to add the mods, you will also see it's really easy to create new cards. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm, I'm not saying this. While I'm saying that it's easy, I don't actually mean that it's like a joke easy. You have to do some stuff. It will take some time. I'm, I'm not dissing on the mod creators or whatever, but creating cards... Uh, it's not easy, it's simple, okay? It's simple how to create a card and you can also go over to the Discord server for modding and ask there how to do it. They're definitely gonna help you and if anything works, uh, if anything doesn't work, you can go over to the tech um, tech support, I think. I think it's called, yeah, tech support uh, part, <laughs> I guess. I guess, um, yeah, we're gonna fill that uh, community in, uh, on. We're gonna fill that community. Either way, that is going to be it, I think, for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you guys around.